Hey guys, welcome to Billbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're continuing on with our series on The Secret Garden. Last time we watched the seminal film from my childhood, the 1993 version. This week we're taking a journey far back into time, all the way to 1949 with the Metro Goldwyn Mayer version. This is like a huge, huge blind spot in my film watching repertoire. I'm very pick and choosy with the Turner Classic Movies gang, so it'll be interesting to see what developments come out of the golden era of Hollywood filmmaking. This film is directed by Fred M. Wilcox, who is also the director of The Forbidden Planet, another noteworthy movie that I have never seen. <laughs> but yeah. We're going to check this out and see how it compares and how it contrasts to the 1993 version. We'll probably watch the 2020 version after this, and if I can ever find it, maybe we'll watch the 1919 version. I don't know, man. I get killed on the silent films on this channel. Yeah, if you want to please the algorithm, leave a comment. Why not? Leave some movies you suggest I watch. I have a long, long laundry list, but you know, for the right movie, a fella can always make an exception. The Secret Garden, produced by Lowe's Incorporated. You know, most era. Ooh, Andre Previn. Andre Previn did the music. I just caught that at a, on a whim. Huh, that's a big pull. For a long while, nobody knows who's dead and who got away to the hills. Nobody knows but the vultures. Very different portrayal of India from the onset. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. I've got a wonderful feeling. I just watched... Who are you? 2019's Watchmen. Where's my servant? Where's Cook? Sadie said my servant was ill. And then Sadie never came back. Are Yo. You a relative of the Len I told you my name was Mary Lennox. Mary Lennox coming in like a total B, just like in the previous version, which is the later version. No. Your mom didn't go away. She died. I know how you loved her. Stop talking. Stop talking about her. She's dead. And who's going to take care of me? Yo, this actress is not afraid to run rampant with the with the scene. <laughs> Charles Foster Kane! Yo, full ass heel in this movie. We love to see it. What a jerk. Unattractive, isn't she? That is a beautiful shot. Wow. You love to see it. Excited already. I was worried this would be, a, a, in some ways, a very rigid movie. Uh, just from the era and, you know, whatever, but there seems to be little inklings that it's trying to break free of, like, posterity and present a very, uh, passionate, active, uh, adaptation. Ooh. Cool, cool, cool. You love it. It's a ghost story. I love the sounds of the winds. We're, we're in the, the haunting of Bly Manor right now. Look how dark and sumptuous this is. And then just killed. Killed, killed by the studio set lighting. Killed! Now let things be understood. You play here and you sleep there. Down the stairs on the right is the kitchen and the outdoors. It's quarantine. This room is so small comparatively. I hate this studio lighting. Look at the heckin' shadow it's created. I heard somebody crying. Unmotivated light sources. Hey, out of wick. Who are you? Why? I'm Ma Martha. <laughs> Martha. Martha, Martha, Martha. Why did you say that now? Tongue like rancid butter. Rancid butter. <laughs> rancid butter. And she doesn't laugh. My seven never laughs. Never. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> I love, I don't understand it, but I love how difficult Frances Hodgson Burnett makes it to like this character from the beginning. Like, arguing with her servant for not picking up a pillow. Aren't you going to dress me? What? Oh, 
people in India, it's the custom. They can address the self. <laughs> she walked away in like the least like the least like acting infused way imaginable. She just like trotted off camera. I don't want any breakfast at ten o'clock. I'm going for a walk in the garden. <laughs> like I said last time, everybody in this story is a heel. That's beautiful, though. We love that. Very nice. They are taking full advantage of making, like, big, pretty backdrop sets. But it is cool, I have to say. I like it a lot. It's it's giving me some, you know, La Belle et La Bette vibes. Come on, did you frighten you? Come on, then. Come, Come on. on. Is that a boy? I must be the one from India. Hi, Mary Lennox. I, I'm Dickens. My sister Martha swore that'd be black. At least dark brown. Hmm. There's no way in. In where? The secret garden. How could this happen in years ago? What were you doing hiding in the bushes watching me? What I boys do? With thee. My oh, that's cute. My I've never heard of anything so ridiculous. Oh, Mary. I can just go home. <laughs> I mean, you can just go home. Oh, Mary. <laughs> so relatable. <laughs> Such a jerk. Animals. So afraid of the world. Hey, for a young lady that took no party to breakfast, I'm certainly making up a tea time. I'm not hungry. I'm just eating. <laughs> <laughs> that's me. I'm not hungry. I'm just eating. I'm sure I heard somebody cry. It was a scullery maid. Miss Medlock said it was Ooh. the wind. Oh, she did? Oh, Martha. You're not very clever, are you? It's always interesting trying to figure out the tone for this, for adaptations of this story. Because it, it bounces around in so many different ways. It's like the remnants of like a, or like a romantic or gothic story imprinted on like a child's, like a whimsical child children's tale. The story has such an interesting spine to it. I love all this stuff. When this movie chooses to go dark, I think it's r like it, it it serves up some good looks to it. Anything that's not like stuck in like the 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 studio box lighting. A nice continuity of editing too. Like they've made out this mansion to be like puzzle boxy in a way that kind of like for me, is kind of like uh, the 77 version of Suspiria. Wonderfully dark movie when it wants to be. Incredibly ominous. I like this introduction, too. This is how they introduced him in the 93 version. And this is, like, obviously kind of like a filmic choice to, like, choose him as, like, what's the term? Just like an aspect of his his physicality is to display his no, his sir. personality at, yes. at large. I'd hoped you might be beautiful. No, sir. I have my books. I drink. I'd hoped you might be beautiful. <laughs> Asshole, God. Is there anything you'd care to ask me? But this is also that? like a cool framing device of like in a weird way. Who's the lady? From this 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 shot is meant to display like the. Ago. The actual eye line of Mary it's Lennox. For regrets, for anger it's a cool gods. choice. I hate your costume in this version, but you are wearing the same hat. Oh, father, he likes me. I might say it comes natural. Bah and me, we have faces like pickles. He likes me, he likes Everybody me. is so rude to this girl. On the other side of the wall. Stop following me. Go away. <laughs> I wonder what else this this actress has been in. She's she's definitely got like the Veruca assault thing down. He could have walled it up so there isn't any gate. Why should he want to do that? Ooh, she's played a Beth before. They made out this this Raven to be like a friggin' help. genius in this version. I mean, Ravens are supposed to be. <laughs> Like that shot. <gasps> lots of tricksy shit in the mansion, or in the manor, just lots of little tricksy things. I 
I like how it makes all these 90 degree turns. And we just get like keep getting disoriented. Oh, I love this. What a beautiful shot. This is the good shit right here. It's great. You're a ghost. I'm not at all a ghost. Are you? No. I'm Colin Craven. Who are you? But you can't be the one who was making all that noise. Oh. Oh, yes. I was having a tantrum. <laughs> Mr. Grindlestone says I have the worst tantrum south of the Scottish border. It's 85 miles to the Scottish border. You may ask Dr. Grindlestone. Why hasn't anyone I didn't really realize oh, how Mary Lennox doesn't Who have, like, your father? an English no, accent I until I heard As Colin's insane lack either. of an English accent trying to do an English accent. Oh my god, this boy. I can't move my legs. I can't move them an inch. Horrid, isn't it? Well, I, I really it's alright. I shan't live to grow up. These know? kids, man, oh, they're dark as shit. This is Everyone basically is like watching, like, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. I didn't change my shirt! Don't you dare talk like that! Go away! I don't want to ever see you again! Never, never! No, stay here! <laughs> do you know what I think you are? I think you're crazy. I do. You and your father. Yeah, he's acting a bit oh, crazy. You must tell me about yourself someday. Well, Not I now. <laughs> Colin. Great timing. Great timing. If I if I, if I if I could say anything about this version of the movie, um, I will say that uh, it reminds me of the the Bible passage that you shouldn't build your house on a foundation of sand. And in this case, in this movie, I'd say the foundation of sand is is child actors <laughs> and animals. It seems really dangerous to build an entire movie around child performances and animals. I'm really not sold on the child acting as of yet. Nor some of the adult performances, to be perfectly frank. But like a lot of interesting, you know, shot choices. I think this director, Fred Wilcox, has has an eye for like uh I'm afraid you sealed it up. Geographical uh filming. Dial, 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 see lilacs. I'm gonna kill this street writer. I. We can come here every day. We can dig around them and get rid of all those weeds. We can make it just the way it used to be. And if he loved her, it must have been an accident. It just must have. I. I. But from all I've heard tell, he's a shy and a crippled man. Now I've met him, Mary. Would thou say he was the sort of a man to? I'd say it's about 50-50 at this point. We have to have something to cut away all that dead stuff. I hate dead stuff, don't you? That's an odd one, man. This odd script one. is overwritten. I'll play with you some other time. I have to meet Dickens. Who's Dickens? Oh, a boy I know. I don't like him. Mike is not some calm and dirty little boy. He is not calm and dirty, calm and dirty. They met. Oh my god. The most wonderful, the most. I'm leaving. Oh my god. I can't walk in you. Oh my god, they go so fast. I can't. <laughs> so it's like interesting. I mean, they've, they've made very, very clear and very literal and very <sighs> overbearing, like the, the love triangle aspect of this relationship. Um, it's like. It's. It's just exacerbated so much by their incredibly, incredibly aggravated and irritable performances. It's crazy how awful these child actors are acting. Like not a not a drop of sympathy are they trying to gain for 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 their characters. It's just like just just child. Just completely fucked. It's it's like literally watching. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. They're just like so over the top, like crazy bad. I will I will come back, Dickon. Hello, 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 Dickon.
Anderson will come back soon. His spelling isn't very good, but, but he'll come back. He'll come back. Girl, that hat is wretched. I hate her costume. I hate her acting. I think there's a really funny movie in this that's like like it's always sunny in philadelphia that's about like incredibly selfish conceited people like disregarding each other's feelings um but i don't think in any way was this movie trying to do that intentionally jesus they're just like you know they're just bumping the audio every single time. Oh, you lied to Mrs. Medlock. You don't care what you say. You only care about yourself. You're mean and selfish. I hate you. I hate you. Horrible. Horrible children. I can't believe this is a movie. I swear this is like a weird cynical black comedy. You never met anyone as bad as I am. You don't care how I'll never live to grow up. Oh stop it, you'll live as long as I will. Like created by somebody who hates kids. Or somebody with an incredible sense of humor about their own, like, conceitedness. Just a frightening movie. Just vicious. But I am still pulling for the ending where they, they, their friendship with each other helps give order to their behaviors. And they just like learn to like talk to each other and express feelings to each other and not constantly try and f each other up. How can I tell you unless you swear? How can I swear unless I know what I'm swearing about? We can tell him. They wasted pages of a script on this bull. The secret God. Mary, I thought it was just a story you were making up. Why I dreamt about it last night. We defied this the screenwriter. And dreamed how fine it could be. And the weeds all gone. And the roses pruned. You know, and he's probably dusting bones. bones at this point. You must take these but I'm gonna find each one of those bones. And I'm gonna That's snap them. He's always talking to your kids. Snap them. They'll probably say I'm worse. Oh, don't pay any attention to any old doctors. Yeah, especially when they're Munchausen syndrome, Mingyu. Oh. Ah! Oh, oh. Don't take off his hairpiece. <laughs> this movie has already has an incredible issue with tone. Yep, he's taking off his hairpiece. Imagine going to a theater and paying five cents to see this. How dare you say such things in front of the patient? I speak in front of the patient with purpose. Fear is a disease. Fear can waste muscles, destroy... We didn't men, identify ourselves by who we voted for in the last election, and we didn't... You're not the first, my boy. Scarce the last. <laughs> I prescribe fresh air, exercise, wild animals, and children, and take off those irons. I, I write the prescription on hate it. this scene. You terrible children. The irons stay on. You can rest assured, Doctor. I'll take my orders. Just Thank you, Mrs. Medlock. too course, literal. I want to know right now. And I didn't remember. I didn't even make remark on this from the previous version. But another parallel between Mary Lennox and uh, Colin is that they're they're both commanded uh, to to be um, basically like bedlocked. Like Mary is told is ordered to be stay confined in her room, and in the same way, Colin from his from his um, from his diagnosed illness is told to stay in his. I wonder what ever happened to this child actor. Did he ever become Go somebody? Away, ben. He was in Paris, Texas? I'd hoped I might walk in. Could you wheel me? Why? 
who? Man, those Metro Golden Myers contracts, they, they afford you opportunities. Who's in Long Day's Journey into Night? What the hell? Wait, what? What the fuck? What? I was wondering how they they would do it. They pick. They they went. They 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 made it. They made a choice. Insert Wizard of Oz, but they made a choice. Maybe give him a different read on that line. That was cool. I'm not gonna lie, that was cool. I don't know if you'd want to sit through a whole movie just to get to that reveal, but that was. That was a nice look. I may tell you that our marriage was the one superbly happy experience in my less than happy life. <laughs> Literally, ju just ten years. I believe you. <laughs> this, this guy was married to that woman? Ten years ago? Ten years ago he was like he was like forty-five. You must stop doing that. We only have so many classes. You transferred your longing to die to your son. You're a normal man. I'm glad that they could literally explain away the psychology of this character just so that you got every single detail presented for you your son is as normal as i am you lie hey what's wrong with him he's angry it must be the coming winter any other color slash black and white movies matter of life and death matter of life and death is good we love us some Paul and Pressburger. I beg of thee. I beg of thee. I beg of thee. I beg of thee. Let him not find me here. I beg of thee. I beg of thee. He tried to kill the tree that killed him mother. He couldn't chop it down, Colin. And he fell to the ground with the axe We know. And the tree you don't dead. have to explain like all of it. He swore how he'd lock the You've destroyed this story. Human being laid eyes on it again. I blame the, the screenwriter more. more than anybody, the honestly. Vines, the so a house. The garden, I can't right? bear to look at it anymore. I die, I die. You can't sell it. You can't, you can't, you can't. Stop it. Whatever they do, they manage to get oh, this this conflict, this relationship, seemingly right. Regardless of generation, regardless of perhaps like uh, some some aspects escaping the writers, some aspects they really invest in, one thing that's always key is them understanding the fractious relationship between a father and son. I'll be very happy, Papa. Like, and, and even these two actors, like I feel like this child and that that adult actor like fundamentally understood the conflict of this relationship and are able to portray it more naturally than they've portrayed other aspects of their characters just that one shot where they 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 wanted to like embrace each other and be close to each other and that sensation that feeling actually pushed them away more would you say what talked about sufficiently forgive me I'm a man with a great deal of money and no back. <laughs> I don't know what's the matter with you, Mr. Craven, but it's your garden. And I tell you, it's magnificent. I tell you, nobody's been in it for ten years. I'm selling the house, Mr. Bromley, to escape, if possible, the temptation don't of madness. Don't tell these things to... that the gods have arranged for me one last chance. <sighs> I wish they had had him enter in on a on a closer shot, but whatever.
<laughs> mein Pferd! It's beautiful. It's genuinely beautiful. It, in a story of sometimes very complex relationships and dynamics, this is like the simplest story to tell. Okay. Adding that dude, it kind of ruined it, but whatever. The big reveal color by Technicolor. Um, I don't know what to say about that one. Curious, 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 curious film. Um, I actually think it was like pretty, pretty brilliantly directed. There were just like there's just artistry in some shots and some uh, editing decisions, and especially the composition of the the manor was just so wonderfully labyrinthian and confusing and intricate. I, I thought there was a lot of good stuff in that, and this film's characterization of Archibald uh, Craven was much more consistent and like tonally matched the the energy of the rest of the film than I think uh, perhaps the version in the 93, the 93 version. And and the choice to have like the big color reveal of the garden was, was really wonderful. I don't know if I would build an entire hateful movie around that one reveal. It's a great reveal, but there was a lot of hateful elements of the movie that had to lead up to that. The child actors were just like allowed to run amok in this, I kind of feel. I don't feel like they had a lot of nuance in, um, in their performances, and that, to a certain degree, is at the fault of the filmmakers. Like, speaking as somebody who, like, watches avant-garde films, who has seen Gaspar Noé films, who's, who's who, who has watched, like, the absolute cynicism and cruelty of your, your worst screwball comedies, like, the child actors in this movie were allowed to run amok, and it's genuinely one of the, the most repugnant performances I've ever seen on screen. I think the biggest fault of the film lies in the screenwriting. Jesus, I hated it so much. Like, you don't have to explain everything. Like, leave some. And I understand that part, part of these things are, like, uh, representative of the time in which it was produced, but, like, this script specifically was just, like, like allowed no room for Jesus in between. There definitely wasn't a lot of prep work put into character, story, psychology, any of the things that actually make you feel bubbly and good about a, about a story, to be honest. So yeah, that was uh, 1949's The Secret Garden. Uh, in an interesting contrast to the 93 version, incredibly heartless in my opinion in comparison, but in some ways I think this will be an interesting contrast to the 2020 version if we get to it if you enjoyed this video click the like button subscribe if you want to see more <laughs> secret carded content not really but if you want to see other stuff like this yeah it's a tragedy they f up this book royally uh, what are you gonna do but anyways until next time keep watching good movies i think mgm made uh chinatown right We'll forgive him for that. It's paramount. What are you still doing here? Bye.